So blues came to Chicago from the south with what's called the Great Northern Migration. It happened between about the years of 1910 and 1930. And blacks were moving from the south to northern industrial cities like Chicago, like St. Louis, um, New York, Oakland, California. And with them, they brought the roots of blues and the early sounds that come from folk songs and work songs that African Americans have been singing for generations. And then what you what happened is each city, as their communities grew, for example, the south side of Chicago, Harlem, and New York City, the communities grew and they regionalized. Each city ended up having its own sound. So if you go and hear blues in Memphis, you go and hear blues in Chicago or St. Louis or Oakland, they're going to sound different because each of those communities developed its own personality. It's a very intimate form of dancing. Uh, also, I view it as a, as a way to keep culture alive. Blues dancing has been around since the music itself. The things that you learn when you're learning blues dancing can apply to all kinds of music, whether it's reggae, uh, slow hip hop, pop. Uh, you could apply those principles very easily. Um, and blues, blues is an exciting music. It's rock and roll came from blues, so slower rock and roll, you could totally dance to it. And it's, it's very accessible. Blues dancing was the first one of the African-American dances. Um, swing dance, jazz dance, hip hop, everything came after blues dancing in the US. Blues dancing has its roots in African movement from the actual continent of Africa. Um, so in that way, I, blues dancing is kind of like the, the grandfather of a lot of the dances that we do in other arenas. They expect for us to tell them where we have official dance events, but often we say, we have a lot of blues bars in town and that's where you should dance. I would say we're a very friendly scene. We're a little bit of a drinking scene um, in that because Chicago has kind of a BYOB sensibility, people just bring stuff to our parties. We're kind of a relaxed, laid back scene. We throw a lot of house parties. Um, it's a really fun place to hang out. Chicago has a very consistent, very popular sound. Uh, it's energetic, it's electrified, the electric guitar is very strong in Chicago blues. And I think that motivates a specific type of movement and it's very popular throughout the country. schools of blues dance here and one is founded by Ruby Red 
and then one of them is at Big City Swing with myself and my partner John Hovind who also works with Ruby. So Big City Swing we have several classes that run in progression. We start with the absolute basics of what is blues dancing, how do you find the rhythm, what does it feel like to move to this kind of music. No experience is necessary to get started. I actually think that learning blues dance is easier than learning swing dance or other partner dances because it is very basic and very personal. It's about your own connection to the music. Come to Bluetopia, which happens once a month. There's always a beginner drop-in lesson. There's a lot of dancers of every skill level from total advanced to total beginner. It's a very friendly scene and it's, the, it's a good way to meet a lot of people really quick and to find out more about where else to go dancing. It is the best blues event in Chicago at this time. Hundreds of people come and it's crowded and it's a little sweaty and the music is great and the people have a great time. Yeah.